the CFO of Ashoka, Bilkon, who joins in to talk about his uh, performance in Q4 as well as recent developments in the company. Mr. Mehta, hi, thank you very much uh, for joining in. Just wanted to touch upon, uh, you know, the IT authorities having in fact inspected Ashoka Bilkon in the month of April. Is all of that now behind the company and any update on that if you'd like to share with us? Yeah, good morning. Uh, yeah, the IT authorities had visited our office uh, in the first week of April and their process is on, so there is no other future, uh, any additional update post whatever we have already declared on the stock exchanges. The process will take its own time uh, for uh, any uh, proceedings to come to an end. So I think so we have back on business and we are doing our routine business uh, as usual. Okay, so let's talk about the routine business, uh, uh, Mr. Mehta, uh, because, you know, uh, I was just looking at your last quarter's numbers and they looked uh, quite bad on the on the bottom line front. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, of course, adjusted for uh, one-offs, it would have been better. But going forward, what kind of uh, EPS numbers do you think you'll be able to post, say, in exponential year? So uh, we believe that uh, the last quarter uh, has taken one of the exceptional items of uh, provisioning for our investment our Pimple Gao Gonde project, which has been, which we have terminated with NHI for this, uh, uh, for the project not being uh, in line with what our expectations was and NHI has accepted the termination. So in view of that, we have written off the investment, which is to the tune of 57 crores. If this, uh, ex if we do away with this exceptional items, which will typically not come in the coming futures, you would have notched up approximately a, a profit of our 30 crores of PAT which uh, uh, 50 crores of bad, which typically is robust enough to take us uh, to the coming years. So uh, having done approximately 2,600 crores of uh, turnover in uh, FI16 with a uh, adjusted uh, pat of around 116 crores uh, without considering exceptional items, I think so the run rate will continue and we will do better. We expect uh, to do a higher uh, uh, top line in the next year and revenue is also growing with more than 10 percent on the revenue side on the toll uh, income. I think so we see a better uh, year coming up. Okay. Even uh, the order flow uh, is substantially looking good. We have an order book of around 4,100 crores which and with the uh, sector uh, being very uh, optimistic on the new orders being released uh, by our uh, Ministry of Road Transport in the coming year. Uh, I think opportunities are huge and I think so We'll continue to focus on road business. Okay. Uh, you were expected to complete a refinancing um, by June of 2016. Are you on track to do that? And if you could give us an update yeah, on that. Yeah. yeah, we are on track on that process. And we are uh, uh, the last stages of discussions with the bankers. And we will finish uh, the transition by quarter one. And what would your consolidated debt to equity be right now? What would you target it to be possibly by end of FY17? And how much uh, would your interest cost reduce due to refinancing? So uh, our interest cost reduction would be in the tune of 1 to 1.5% uh, on approximately 3,000 crores of debt. Sure. And our uh, debt uh, as of date is around 4,100 crores against uh, minority interest plus net worth of around 2,300. So we are at a, typically at 1.6 times of gearing and we believe that uh, it would be almost a similar gearing by the end of this uh, 2017 also. So we don't see much of movement uh, on the negative side. All right, Mr. Mehta, we leave it there. Thanks a lot uh, for taking time out and good luck uh, with this financial year. Let's move on. Ashwini Gujral is back with us. Ashwini, good morning. Uh, 